This is episode number 12 of the MBZ podcast. Today, I'm here with my friend Jose, who, a little story about Jose. I, I met Jose in the, uh, in, uh, in the bar at Buckley's Belltown, and we were just chatting. He's having a Bud Light, like he always does. And uh, he uh, was telling me a little bit about his story, and I was asking some questions, and it seemed really interesting. So I asked him, hey, could we sit down one time and do a little podcast? And he said, yeah, so, uh, you know, we're here. So let me, I'm just going to, because I don't, I know pieces of the story. I don't yeah. know the whole thing. So let, we're just going to, like, let it go. We're just yeah. going to flow and see where it. it happens. And okay. if we hit any spots where we turn the wrong alley, you just say, hey, let's just back out of that. You know, we, just, we don't talk about it. Whatever you don't want to talk about. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. And if I'm rambling, man, reel me back in. It's okay. Know? I'll keep you on track. Okay. All right, work. So, just let's lay the picture. Where are you from? I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Fort Liquordale, man, is how I used to call it when I was down there. You know, to tell you the state of mind when I used to grow up. How long were you living there for? Man, I was born and raised in Fort Liquordale. When did you leave? I left in '98. '98 came up here to change my life. Okay. You know, so uh, did my 21 run and took off. Okay. So uh, all, like, high school, everything was done down there in Fort Lauderdale? Yeah. And uh, you met your wife down no, there? No, no. Uh, I met her when I came up here. Okay. And we were never married. Oh. Um, but I moved up here. Met this chick, man, and she was awesome, you know. Why did you leave Fort Lauderdale? You know, it was uh, one of those things, like I say, Fort Liquordale. So the state of mind that I was in, it was just a party town. Okay. So I was having, having fun. fun. <laughs> I was not being responsible. I'm getting older. My mom's tripping. My dad's tripping. You know, I left the house when I was 16. Okay. In and out with cousins. And uh, it's time to grow up and, and get out of that because my friends were, were dying and going to jail. Yeah. You know, so the circle that I hung out with today, very few of them remain. Okay. Fair. You know, or they're still at home living with mommy or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like it, there comes a point where you got to go. Right. And that was my chance, my opportunity. You know, my mom had a job offer up here and uh, she begged me to come. So I came and I checked it out yeah. and I loved it. Cool. I was like, Seattle is a spot, you know, I was like, this is, I've never seen the seasons change, <laughs> Cause you, you know, yeah, cause I've never the same, seen the mountains, else. you know, I mean, I have because in Puerto Rico, but not like, not like this, because I was young when I visited back then right. to the homeland, but, so I, I, I liked it, and I was like, I'll give this a chance. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um, so, you moved up here, to, and you got your, you got your own place then? I lived with them. For a little while. Oh, with who? Your parents? With my parents. Yeah. Um, I lived with them for a little while. Uh, got a job. Mm -hmm. We lived on the east side. What'd you Wood do? Woodenville. What'd you do? Yeah. So my first job was uh, Tyrus Plus. Nice. It was in Kirkland, Totem Lake area. Yeah. And uh, it was cool, you know. Um, I'm, I was an automotive technician. Mm-hmm. Uh, my father's automotive technician, you know, my family. So I've always played with cars Yeah. since I was like eight years old. Man. Right. You know, they, my kids, my friends came over to uh, ask if I could ride bikes. And I'd be like, man, I got to hold the jack for my, I got to hold the tranny for my dad, you know, the jack. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll be out in like an hour or something. But So I'm very familiar with the automobile. Cool. So I went into that trade and, and uh Sweet. Started out over there, yeah, doing tires, and then they trained me how to do alignments, and then I had some mentors over there, um, and that was the beginning of my my work history here in Washington State. So how did you meet your wife? Uh, a friend of mine that worked at at this company, mm -hmm. Tires Plus, mm -hmm. uh, went to school with her. Okay. And me and him were, were homies. You went to school in Fort Lauderdale with her? No, no. She was in high school. So she was uh, 18 when I met her. Okay. And I was 21. Or she might have been 17, actually, to turn in 18. You know, we're going to say she was 18. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so uh, 
she was in her senior year at Inglemore. And where I worked, um, they had, it was, it was a good place because they would give uh, people second chances that had been in trouble with the law okay. before. Yeah. And this, 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 this homie of mine just happens to be that he was, you yeah. know, so he was in a halfway house that at a young age, but still went to school mm -hmm. and they were friends. Right. So um, one day she drops him off, you know, and I'm in my suit, parking the car and coming back out. And, and you know, the eyes locked and, and the introduction started, man, just like that. Word. You know? Yeah, and then you, like, met her out, obviously took her out, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, and I was like, man, you know, I was still new in it, and I probably should have waited, but she was beautiful, and she was cute, and she was young, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm 21, and I'm horny, and I'm like, what's up? <laughs> and uh, we hit it off, cool. and it was the exact, it was what I needed, the exact opposite of what I was. Yeah. You know, someone good yeah. to start a life with, to yeah. get that balance, yeah. you know? Yeah. And then you go move on, and you never you never got married. Never got married. But you made how many children? Man, we got we have five beautiful children. Word. Um, one of mine is 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 with a different woman. Okay. And we'll probably get into that, but she's the mother because she's raised him. Okay. I've had him since he was three months old. Okay. And his mom is is a great a great girl, you know. Mm -hmm. um, she just had some. Uh, she just had some, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Challenges to overcome. Okay. So she gave me custody of them. Right. You know, and, and, I, and, and I bless her for that, you know, because she, she was using her head. So he knows he has two moms, mm -hmm. but um, the one that I met first is, he knows he knows her as the only mom. mom. Yeah. yeah. But he's lucky. He said, I got two moms, you know. Yeah. yeah. Just so he has contact with the other mom too? Uh, he hasn't. He okay. hasn't, but uh, I show her pictures. I show him pictures. Yeah. And um, he knows he has two more brothers, two more sisters. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, very bright boy. He's, he's, he's going to be 10. Or, he's going to be 10 or 11. So right that, around the time you're going to have yours. He's 28. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got one coming. Yeah. So what happened... Where did this other girl come in? I don't, I don't ever remember hearing. I never heard that part of the story. All right. So uh, I moved up here. I was naive. I still had Fort Lauderdale in me. Mm -hmm. I wasn't ready to grow up, you know. But ever since I've been here, I have progressed. I've gotten better. Mm -hmm. It may have been slow. Yeah. But I've gotten better, <laughs> you know. So we've broken up a few times. Okay. So we had... Uh, we had my first daughter, Nina. Nina, I miss you so much. I love you. And I haven't seen her in three years. Yeah. You know, but, um, man. So we had her right away. Um, so what do I do, man? You know, it's like. Are you living with her at this time? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we soon, we soon moved in when she was pregnant and we mm -hmm. got a place. Mm-hmm. So I'm brand new into Seattle, man. Yeah. Met this girl. Yeah. Maybe a year. It was like that Thanksgiving, that within that year. So I was still 21. We hit it off. It was quick. You know, I don't want to say that my kid was a mistake, but she wasn't on purpose. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is it's one of the best things that has happened to me. Right. So we get together. We move in together. Um, and we've had our problems. You know, most of it my fault, you know what I'm saying? Because I still want to play the field. Right. And and, and I wanted my cake and eat it too. Mm -hmm. You know, which back home is just the way it was. Right. You know, being young and then I'm coming to Seattle and things are way cooler and calmer here. So in a way it was kind of easier, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like I didn't really have to work at it. Yeah. But um, not to sound arrogant or anything, but that's just the stuff I had to work out of. Yeah. You know. So anyway, we got together. She's the total opposite. I'm still trying to grow up, you know, fucking things up. Yeah. Learning the hard way. We break up, mm. get back together, you know, have another kid, Sophia. Sophia Maria, I love you, you know, if you ever see this. But uh, that's my second, my second girl. Right. And she's going to be 
She just turned 13. Wow. Yeah. Then my other one is, did I tell you she's 17? Oh, the oldest one is 17? The oldest one is 17 now. Yeah, okay. she was born in 2000. And so we got two kids now. Yeah, so now up. we got two kids. And then we break up again. Okay. And yeah. during these breakups, you, you're you out. You moved out. Well, you, leave, you left. Yeah, yeah. And then you're um, just out there, you know, gallivanting, doing your own thing. Yeah, not to get into too much detail, I know, but I know. you know, just know. just not be the first to admit it, being an asshole. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just yeah. just not being the man that I should have been for her. Right. Which is where I messed up, man, because she's a she was a good girl. She's innocent. Yeah. It's what I wanted, what I needed, and I had it, and I let it go. Yeah. And I'm paying a consequence for it. I feel like you know. Yeah. So. Split up with her. I meet mean, Neil's mom. Okay. Neil's my first son. So that's different, different, different lady. mother. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So. And so far, they're four years apart. Okay, each one. Yeah. All right. So. So, so this is why you're on hiatus from. Yeah, I'm always in touch. You know, I'm there, but I'm not there. You know, what yeah. I'm, saying? I'm getting better, but I'm I'm still right. Lost in a sense, you know what I mean. So your kid is eight. Your the oldest is eight, while you're in and out. Um. Yes. How how's that? Yeah. Man, I would still see her. Yeah. We would have time, you know. Um, we would hang out, get her on the weekends. You know, my parents are really involved. Okay. And they know her parents. That's cool which worked out a lot. So mm-hmm. her family is very supportive. My family is very supportive. So my kids always had what they needed, whether I can provide it or not. Right. But I was always able to. Yeah. The times I didn't, our families Took, were able to. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, uh, so Neo comes in. Neo comes in. And Does that I'm mean? out just... I'm just out. I'm just Does out. Does that make stress it. between the other two's mom and then? Uh, well, no, because we were split up and we had an understanding. Okay. You know, yeah. we we were like, you know how it is. I mean, I totally get it. I'm just not sure with kids she, and stuff, but uh, you know, breakups and yeah. stuff, and yeah. the kid puts a little tension in the mix because yeah. you have to see this person. Right. So it was a little. Mm-hmm. Stressful, mm-hmm. but it, we were able to work through it. Um, and then she never really saw Neil's mom to begin with. All right. You know, yeah. Uh, we hung out a lot. We had a lot of fun together. Cool. You know, um, she was a good girl too. Still a good girl. So only uh, how long, how old did, was Neo when he moved in with? He know, was uh, three years old. Oh, three years. So she actually had three yeah. years. Yeah. So I had him three months. Then now we live in Snohomish. So I went from Woodenville to Kenmore, back to Woodenville, uh, to Bothell, and now I'm in Snohomish. Okay. So now, you know, after we broke up, we got rid of the place and went to Snohomish. I had gotten in some trouble with the uh with the law and had to uh take care of that what is what is that, what is that I, mean? I mean I got a couple I got a DUI you know and and some stuff that comes along with not being responsible and and thinking you can do whatever you want to do okay um, but at the same time I was able to uh, get custody of my son after it didn't work out with her mom okay his I, mom and then you brought him into the household with the other girl, or did she? Yeah, so then, so now I'm over here on house arrest, no license, taking my son on a bus in the snow, getting uh-huh. groceries, you know. It's just him and I. Uh-huh. And my kids would come on the weekends, you know. Okay. Uh, my mom would, would come and take us to church, you know, the city church, you know, we go to the city church. How are you providing for yourself? You, you're not working? No, I'm working. Okay. I'm working. So I go, I get to Who go. Taking, to, your parent, mom takes care of the kids during the day? Um... His mom lived with. Okay, so when we went to Snohomish, you, his were mom, still, you were still with the girl. I was with the mother of my son. Of Neo. 
Yeah. Okay. Oh, I went to. I was in Burien. That's 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 where we had him. He was born in Burien. You have to forgive me if, if I, you know. Yeah. Jose has like a short term memory loss. Like so, it was like some foggy yeah. parts. Yeah. yeah. It's all good. I had a Bud Light, but it's not because I'm <laughs> drunk or anything. You know? Um. So I lived in Burien for a little while. Wow. As we talk about this, I remember more. Yeah. You know. Yeah, he was born in Highline Hospital. Wow, I miss my son so much, man. The Matrix was on TV. That's why you called him Neo? Yeah. And uh, we named him Neo. You know? She was on board with the, the idea of oh, Neo also? She's cool, man. Yeah. She's like, what do you want to name him? I said, Neo Cruz. Neo Cruz. Where? You know, one cross. You know, I got a strong belief in Christ. Okay. And uh, he's helped me out and carried me through the tough times, even when I haven't deserved it. Yeah. You know? So, one cross was the name I gave him, you know. So, anyway, um, yeah, I watched the C-section be born. You know, I was just looking, they were like, you're going to pass out? I was like, no, I'm not, you know. So, All that right. was cool to see. You know, that's an experience that I guess you can only enjoy if it's your son, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, man. Which you're probably soon to find out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about I said watch a birth, but watch a C-section. Yeah, it, it's still a birth, you know. It's, yeah, it's, I, I don't know anything. I, I, the more, the less I know, the better. I think it's just like okay, let's just. Get yeah, this it's, thing it's more. Of I don't, like don't want to know. I don't. Like, sometimes I want to know a lot about what's going to happen before it happens, but now with this one, I'm like, I want to know how to take care of it after, but I don't want to yeah, have yeah. to like yo, C-sections like. My wife tells me a little bits and pieces. I'm like, they do what? Oh. You like horror movies? Nah, I don't like horror movies oh, yeah, at all. So, yeah, it's not gonna work. Yeah, it's not my thing. Right? It's not my yeah, thing. Just stay seated. It's not you know. Hopefully, it I'm gonna stay up near the head, look down, and I'm gonna wait for you yeah, know, yeah. wait for him to arrive. Yeah, you know, clean so. it, clean it first yeah, before not, you give it to me. Just, I'm okay with it being <laughs> dirty. I'm just, but I'm just like, you know, I don't need you know. I'll wait for you with the baggage clean. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Um. All right, yeah. So, so, so his mom is is taking care of him while I'm going to work. Okay, cool. Um, and it wasn't always like that. Uh, there was some time I had to serve, and my parents took care of him. Yeah. And she went back to Burien. Right. Um, just didn't work out. Yeah. You know, still friends. Yeah. Cool and stuff. So after that, you eventually moved back in with. Going up. What's going on? I don't want to call her girl number one. What's her name? What's your wife's name? Uh, Alicia, man. Alicia. Alicia. Okay. You moved back <clears throat> in with Alicia after yeah. a while. Neil's been born. We're on three years old. So fourth year's coming up. About to have another kid, I assume. Man. You know, it, it's fair. You know, since I'm mentioning these girls' names and, and I feel like I'm, um, I'm just up to my neck in this shit already, I just might as well. I have to talk about girl number two. Yeah, okay. So I would always, there was this other girl named Deanna. Hold on I, a second. So not Neil's mom. Not Neil's not mom. Not Alicia. Neil's mom is Cecily. Cecily, Alicia, and then there's... And Deanna. Why is Deanna in the picture? Deanna's always been in the picture. Oh, uh, through hiatus? Through yes. the little... Okay. Yeah, kind of like my rendezvous. Yeah. Oh, during all the time. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Man, uh, it's, it's deep. I don't know if I want to get that deep. You don't have to, like I said, man. Deanna, Deanna was very cool. And She's there came the a point section. There came a point where I had to make a decision if I was going to be there for my kids or do what I wanted to do and be with the girl I wanted to be. And I, said, I know that sounds shitty, but I asked somebody for advice, and I just loved my kids so much that I wanted to be there for my kids. Okay. You know, and it's not like I didn't love Alicia at first. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Of course. Well, you make maybe I I don't know if I really did or not, but I I I I loved her, but I was sprung on this other chick, man, because it was what I was used to. Yeah. Does that make sense? Well, you, yeah, your lifestyle and yeah. Know, so it was like I was comfortable with this. I knew how to work with this. And, but I knew I needed to stay here, but I wasn't mature enough, man. 
Because she was like, that's just opposite what it is, bro. I just wasn't mature enough, man. This girl was down, and this one was green. You yeah. know, like you got to teach her. And as far as as far now, I don't want to make it sound like so that's what you wanted. You wanted to just mold somebody into what you wanted. No, I didn't. I wanted her to have her own opinion. Yeah. You know, not rely on mom and dad. Right. You know, she was young, and I wasn't used to that. I was probably the youngest girl that I had been with. Yeah. Um, Ever. Ever. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I wasn't used to her not having... I don't know. I don't want to, I don't know how to say it. It's like... I wasn't used to her depending on her parents as much as she did okay. at, at the age. Mm-hmm. Which right. may have been unfair... It's new to whatever you. is yeah. was what it is. Yeah, you know. But this other girl knew about the other girl, which made it easier for me. Yeah. Shitty. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but it is what it is. I just had to throw that in there because she's a big part of it. You know what I mean? Um, what role does she play? She's a big part. I get it. She's there. But what role does she play in the in the whole thing? If she, well, how big of a role is she? Just like. Your fallback when well, you're in, in between, I lived with her too. Oh, you lived with her? Okay, well. Yeah. So she's more than just a soldier crying. Yeah, she's of like, course. She was like, she was a really good friend that we kicked it and, and yeah. we had fun, man. And like, like if there was, if I had to go back and do it again, I would have married that girl. Really? Yeah. Wow. Minus the kids? Minus the kids. Well, no, even with the kids, I would have, I would have not took the, the, the advice that I took. Oh, as far as being there, because I still could have been there for my kids, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, okay, I'm, right, got, so I'm, I'm drawing the picture, and I got three <laughs> kids in the mix, and yeah. we're coming up on year four after Neo. Does that mean another kid's coming, or how long? What's the space between right, Neo so and the next kid? There's three. There's another four. Okay. So then, uh, after that advice, you move back in with Alicia. Yeah, well, I let I let Deanna go. Okay. You know. Yeah. And uh, and needless to say, you know, none of them were happy about this. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So then, Alicia. Oh, Alicia and I get back together. She's helping me out with Neo, and uh-huh. Deanna used to help me out with Neo too. I don't want right. to uh, sell her short, you know. Um, but it is what it is. Okay. So now you move back in with Alicia. Yeah. So then we get we get back together. Right. And uh, we move back to Woodenville. And I still have my place in Snohomish, and I'm getting off probation. I did my. You know, my uh, I paid my consequences to the state and everything, and things are going good. And she wants a boy. She said she wants a baby. Alicia. Yeah. Word. Hold on one second. Let me reset. Let me just make sure right. these these cameras are going well. Oh, this one's dead. Let's try this one again. That's good. Okay, so she tells you she moves. You move back in with her, and she tells you she wants to have another kid. Yeah, and yeah. you got three at home. Yeah, She's, we got yeah, we got three. And now, now she wants another one. Right. Yeah. So I'm making money. What, She's what, making money. And what do you what do you think when she tells you this? Oh, I'm, I'm down. Let's get the, you know. I figured she wanted. I was like, I mean, I'm always down. You know what I mean? Well, I was like, down to practice, but I'm not yeah, down yeah. to well, pay for well, <laughs> I love my kids, man. Yeah, I but love like, so much. And I, I don't know. You're gonna experience. I don't know it. what it's like, so I'm not saying you I'm, are going to experience it. I get it, but like, if I had three, I'm not trying to make another one. It's okay. A lot of money, but but hey, but like show one, folks. two, and three, like I said, weren't weren't planned. Okay, so this time you're trying to plan to have another kid. Yeah, it's just like like I I, I don't believe in abortion. Yeah, for you. you know, I mean. It sounds like I don't believe in rubbers neither, but I do, man. You know, it's all good, man. You know what I mean? I got it. Um, so, so four comes along, With, and mind you, I tell her parents every time. Whose parents? Her Alicia's. Okay. I told Alicia's parents, like you know, I mean, I was like, walk there. We we have to tell you something. Or right. you know, man up and yeah. Again, we got to tell you something, you know. 
So the third time I sat them down, I was like, we have something to tell you. They're like, oh, shit, really? <laughs> and none of them were happy, dude. The sisters couldn't have kids. Oh, man. She had two older sisters. Pissed. <laughs> pissed. Mom and dad were Why pissed. Why are they mad? I don't know. You know, one time... Uh, one of her sister's husbands said, man, you got the fertile one. I'm like, what? Are you serious? Did you just really say that that's to me? The, that's rotten, yo. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, wow. Whatever. I mean, don't blame me because you can't have kids. Yeah. You know? Wow. Be happy for us at least, yeah. you know? So, no, they were never happy, man. Pissed off. But after they were born and they were there, they didn't want to let them go. Okay. It's the best thing in the world, you know? But no support at first. So Anthony's born. Anthony you Isaac. You actually had a boy. Yeah. Okay, where? Yep. Anthony Isaac. Born on Halloween. Wow. God bless him. I miss you, Anthony. Oh. Man, I miss him so much. So then he's born. We get a house now. Okay. You Buy know? a house? Yeah. No, we rented, oh, yeah. rented a house. Yeah. Now we're in Bothell. Yeah. And uh, things are going good. Mm-hmm. I even asked her to marry me at this time. Oh, wow. And she said no? You know, her body language did. Oh. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I went, I went How to, does she I, actually have a kid and then not want to get married? Man, I thought that's, you know, I'm sitting here trying to make things right. Right. Yeah, you're trying to do the right thing. Right? Yeah, I'm trying to do the right let, thing. You let, I let the other, the other girl, girl and... you know, I'm not fucking around. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we got a ring on layaway. Okay. You know? And... Uh, I rented a car from British Motor Coach. They provided this old Rolls Royce. We went to Azul's and Bothell. To, know, to, to have, have a wedding? or to, no, to, to have dinner. To, I was going to ask her. I told my oh. oldest, I was like, I'm going to ask your mom to marry me. You know what I'm saying? I thought that's what she wanted to make her feel comfortable and maybe maybe close the door on this shit that I did before. Right, you right, know what I'm saying? Right. Um, so I went to ask her dad first. I was like, hey, I'm going to ask your daughter to marry me. <laughs> what is that? Sir? And you know what he said? What? Don't be surprised when she tells you no. What? He said that. He told me this shit. I was like, wow, really? So I was like, all right. Damn. I was just like, damn. That's kind of harsh. All right, but The family never liked me. Fair I enough. guess maybe I probably should have put that out should've there. Should have known. You know, they, you know, I came over here and knocked this baby up three yeah. times, and now I'm going to marry her ten years later. Yeah. You know, and it's like, yeah, they, you know, okay. his mom and I had some beef, and sisters were mad. I don't know, you know. I used to drink a lot, and and uh, I was a different person when I moved here. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't want to blame it on the drinking, but I was a different person, you know. I just said what I had to say and a lot of people didn't like that. Fair enough. So she you asked so what happened so you asked you got on the one like tell me walk me through the whole situation oh, of you getting down and her saying right. like we got the car coming, they picked us up. Um I didn't have the ring yet so I grabbed one that I had given her for Christmas. Okay. That was just put away in a box. You know? Yeah. We go to our schools and uh Bothell, Mill Creek, Mill Creek, Azul's, yeah. And we're having dinner, and I was just like, man, let's get married, let's do this. Oh, you just said it like that, you know what yeah. need, no, no, like... no, I was like, I was like, I, I, we we're having good conversation, yeah. you know, we had some drinks and good dinner, and I broke the ring, and I was like, man, why don't we just get married? Yeah. You know, I was like, marry me. And she looks at me like, dumbfounded, like, like, didn't know what to say. Like, I got her a surprise, you know? And, and I remember it was a weird night. That I, I can't really explain. Um, but it was like, it was like my ex-girlfriend was there and she heard me propose. You know, but I didn't see her. But it's like it was weird because I could hear her. What you do you know? Mean? I could hear her walk off to the bathroom, and then I saw her watching her. So I was like, "Hold on a second, bro." Time that's out. what I'm. Time that out. was Time weird, out. man. Time out. Yeah. So like, you, like <laughs> you, you, you are having a conversation. Yeah. You bring out a ring. Say, "Let's get married." There's an awkward pause, or like her body language says something. 
it wasn't like it wasn't like a woman oh, that wanted to get right, married. right, exactly, exactly. It was like, oh my god, yeah, okay. But so, is there a ghost? What are you talking about? Ah oh, man, I, I, I uh, that's why I say it's hard to explain. So you just felt it. You felt energy of like another. But she recognized it. Like, is it behind you? Is it sitting at the table? It's like we're sitting at this table. There's another table over here. Yeah. Another table, a table in the bathrooms over there. The bar is on the other side of the, on the thing. You can right. see the bar. You know, it's like a half wall. And once I said that, I could somebody dropped the glass, like put the glass down. Yeah. You could hear like tears. You know, like like like, like a woman were... like a woman is starting to cry. Yeah. Like like if I was asking her to marry me and the other girl was standing right here, you know what I mean? And she sees that also and like she recognized it, which I thought it was trippy. I didn't pay much attention to it, you know, because I was like. Did she like look off? She looked off and followed her. Her eyes followed her, and I didn't see her, but she, you know what I mean? So was like, there, was, so there was really nobody there. As far as I'm concerned, I didn't, you didn't, you I didn't, didn't see nobody. You didn't look. But what was she looking at? I don't know. But yeah. you didn't look. But she, you saw her look and... No, I looked. But and then I looked it. back because I didn't see anybody. That's crazy. Yo. Yeah, man. And I didn't have that much to drink, you know? Wow. Anyway. Yeah, that's, that's one of those... That's one of those... Uh, Paranormal moments. Like that, yeah. Okay. Anyway. So she says, eventually she has no no emotion, and you just say, okay, maybe that was a mad question. You just move it on. Keep no, moving no, on. it was like it was cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, I could just play to her level of excitement. You know what I mean? She was surprised, not like I thought she would be. So I was still a little confused. So I would let the next few weeks dictate her answer. Oh, so you just didn't, you didn't have an answer at that point, moment. You just, like, let it let it flow. Well, it was like, yes, but then, you know, there was oh. no excitement as far as her telling her sister, yeah, her telling yeah. her parents, wanting to plan shit, what are we going to do? Right, right. It was just a, a flat topic, dude, yeah. a flat line. You yeah. Know what I mean? Okay, I feel you now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you got four kids. You ask your mayor, and you kind of let that idea go by the wayside. You don't get married. Yeah. And there's another kid that comes along, right? Yeah. So, it's another four years in between two. again? Two years. Uh, are we getting closer to the time where something happens? Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk, tell me about the last kid and then tell me about what happens. All right, so, uh, Cruz Jose. Is, is, your, is your last name Cruz? No, that's my, my, uh, my, uh, my grandfather's middle name. It does have a, so I, a has a significance. Like I like to put Cruz on my kids' names. So everybody has Cruz in their name. No, not all of them. Just just uh, Neo, Neo and, and and CJ. We call him CJ. C, what's his real name? Is uh, Cruz Jose. Cruz Jose. Yeah. So Cruz is his first name. Jose is the middle name. And then my last name. Cool. All right. Um, so what's that like, the little fifth kid now in this household? What's oh, it's uh, it's awesome, man. He came at a time where I needed it. He came at a time, and I love you, CJ. You know, and my last name's Olmedo, O L M E D O. I say it strong. I say it proud. And these are my five kids that I miss so much. Um, so my last kid, two years after that. So, mind you, the things that started falling apart after she didn't really want to get married, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you still have a kid, though? Yeah, we, he wasn't planned. Okay. Um, he wasn't planned. Wow. Yeah, we remember we were going to abort him. Wow. That's... Yeah. Wow, we were gonna abort him, and uh, had the appointment and everything to go. Mm -hmm. So we get in the car. The day comes. She doesn't want to have him, and I'm like, I have to support her, but I didn't. Her feel, decision. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I didn't feel right about it. Yeah. So 
we get in this car and we're on our way to uh, get, mm -hmm. get an abortion. And I looked at her and I was like, halfway there, I'm like, this is wrong. Is this because of your Christian beliefs, or is this because you just didn't want to... I feel like it's murder, man. You okay. know, There's so many people out there that cannot have a kid. Right. If we didn't want to raise it, there's other ways to take care of that. Like, we can put it up for adoption. Yeah. You know? Have the baby, but give it to somebody that yeah. deserves it. Yeah, yeah. You know, not that we didn't, but if we weren't prepared to take care of that baby... Mm -hmm. Let's give it to a loving couple that is dying to have one and can't have it. Right, right. You know? So, uh, yeah, we never make it. So you just turned around? Yeah, we pulled off. I was like, man, I, I'm mad enough to take care of this kid. I made it. I'm going to take care of it. You know? Let's go she still has to have it. I understand. Wait, that, what, that was her well, reservation? Like, well, that, uh, it, gets, it gets real uh, sensitive around this area. Right here. Well, like I said, any any but, corridor but, we go in, you don't want to. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't get that far into it. But to put it like this, um, we were having trouble, and I told her parents every time we had a kid. Yeah. But this time, I told her. I said, "I'll stand next to you while you tell them." You're Why, a kid? You know, it's just stuff I don't want to get into. You know, but. Uh, I'd stand with her while she told him she was having another boy. You know, I told him the first t four times, three times, three times when we were having one. Yeah. You know, if you can read in between the lines, but okay, it's kind of sensitive. Fair enough. Um, okay, so we got five kids. You're living. Where are you living now? Now we are, we're still in Bothell. Bothell. Yeah, we got that house in Bothell. And, and then, so we painted this picture of your life of yeah. Fort Lauderdale, growing up, coming out here, you live your life a certain way in Fort Lauderdale, you see you see you growing up a certain way, and then you bring that out here, that kind of gets you into some trouble a little bit. You build this life, now something happens. Tell me about the something that happens. Yeah, man. That bro. changes everything. Uh, I was involved in a motor vehicle accident. Okay. 2014, bro. Bring me back to that August day. August 22nd. What happened? Man. I was uh, rear-ended. I was rear-ended. The dude was going at least 60 miles an hour. And he hit the back of my little truck, and he was in a one ton. Were you standing still? He was still? in a three quarter ton. Yeah, I was stopped, and I seen him coming, man. Sixty miles per hour. I seen him coming. We were at thirty five. We were stopped, man. I was thirteen cars back from the light. It was a two directional road. It was on two twenty eighth and Bothell. I was going home to pick up my son. I can't even tell you the movie that we watched early that day. You know, I was supposed to help a friend move. Nobody was in the car with you? No. Thank God, man. What kind of car are you in? I was in a B2089 pickup truck. Oh, what's that make? It's, it's a Mazda. Mazda, okay. You know, so a little truck. And the truck that hit me was a F350 crew cab. Wow. You know, four-door. You, you just know. didn't see the 13. You, so there's 13 cars in front of you? Yeah, from the light. And he's just bailing down at 60 miles an hour and doesn't stop. It didn't even hit the brakes, man. I seen him coming in my rear view, in my side view mirror, you know, because I was thinking about jumping out of the truck. But the reason I didn't is there's this Honda Odyssey in front of me, and there's pictures of the kids on the window. You know how they got like the stick figures? Yeah. When there's a family. Yeah. Like on the on the on the on the window. Yeah, in the back. So I saw there was two adults and then two kids and a dog. I think it was a cat. So I was like, damn, you know? I don't know, I thought about all this stuff that quick, but I'm on my brakes. So I turned the wheel to the left, and I was like, this motherfucker's gonna hit me or he's gonna go off to the side. And boom! I've never been hit so hard in my life. Never been hit so hard in my life, man. Five car pile up. 
So five cars were affected. Five Four cars, cars in front of you. Yeah, I was the first one hit. Jeez. You know, my my head broke the back. Whiplash. The back window hit the car in front of me, almost went through the windshield, and then it hit the back, broke the rest of the back windows. Oh, man. You know. I didn't have my seatbelt on. You did not? No. Bro, I, I like a ping pong, man. Jesus, dude. Well, yeah, I uh, pushed my teeth into the middle of my mouth. <sighs> it was, uh, it was a very, very hard experience to go through. I feel the effects from the the accident still, yeah. as far as my speech. It's gotten a lot better, but mm -hmm. at times, uh, at times it, it it still affects me. Yeah, you haven't had any any illness, any I hadn't noticed anything until just now when you're talking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I've been talking a lot to yeah. get it better. You yeah, know? yeah. Okay, so. That's crazy. So how long? So that that happens, and you, are you living with Alicia at this point? Yeah, yeah. We got a house. We're still together. You know what I'm saying? It's and then the accident happens, and how does that affect? That happened right before CJ was born. Right before CJ was born. So she's still pregnant when this actually happens. Yeah, yeah. My kids were out of town, um, except my sons, and she was pregnant. Um. So, uh, okay. So what happened? You get taken to the hospital. She finds out. She comes to the hospital. The yeah. fa family comes to the hospital. No, just just uh, just her and my sister. They take me to Harborview. This happened in Bothell. Okay. They took me to Harborview because they thought I bit my tongue off. Oh, you know, there was all this blood and, and stuff everywhere. So, I mean, I remember the route. I remember the people. So you're whole, conscious this whole time? Yeah, I have I have the dude in the ambulance. Shoreline Fire Department came out there, and they called her. Um, and I was like, just tell her I got an accident. I'm going to the hospital, you know, but don't, she's pregnant. Don't, mm -hmm. tr don't tell her how bad it is, mm -hmm. you know. Let her find out when she's at the hospital. And, and then I had her call my homeboy because I was supposed to help him move, which is the reason I was going that way. So I was like, yeah, call him up and tell him I'm not going to make it. And the, the dudes in the in the ambulance were cool, you know. Mm -hmm. And he kept me awake, man, because I wanted to close my eyes. I wanted to close yeah. my eyes. And, and uh, he, he kept me up the whole way to the hospital. Wow. Yeah, that was tough. So, okay, so how does this affect? The whole situation. Why? Why is this the crucial moment? So that that's like the beginning of the end, right there, or the big. I shouldn't say the end. The beginning to the next chapter. Chapter. Throughout that year, I'm unable to work. I'm unable to work on cars like I used to. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not bringing in the money that I used to. Mm -hmm. Can't pay the rent. Um, stress continues to build. Now yeah. we have a new baby. Right. You know, oh man! So on, on top of that, a lot you know, of bills, a lot of everything. Yeah, and uh, it just took a while for it to slowly crumble. Even right. though I had insurance, it wasn't enough to pay my bills. Right. It wasn't, uh, and then I couldn't work. I would still try to work in my garage doing side work. But I couldn't remember where I put my tool, man. I would work on a car, I'd put my tool down, and then I'd go back to the box to get the tool that I would just put down. So you had memory, like short-term memory? Bad. Memories. Wow. Yeah, it was bad, you know. So uh, I, get, I, I go through that. I try to do, I got people wanting me to work on their cars, so after a few months I try to do it again, and I end up having to give them back their money because I'm not able to fix it like I used to. Man. And then now I'm out parts, so now I'm under, uh, you know, because I give them back the full amount yeah, yeah. just because that's the way I used to do business. You know, I'd take care of you if I couldn't take care of you. Okay. But now it's happening, you know, nine times out of ten. So the money that I had is gone, you know, and uh, I got my parents bailing me out, thank God. Yeah. You know, that, that my mom works her ass off and, and could do that at that time. 
and uh, there's only so much of that you can take. Right. You know, and eventually our relationship continued to dissolve and we eventually split up. So you just moved out and... No, man. Uh, I had I had suffered from PTSD pretty bad after that. Um, and I was contemplating on going back to selling drugs like I used to at one point in my life. Because... Uh. I could connect a bunch of circles that would have made it easy. Yeah. But the problem is that I lived with my kids and I would have had to be a different person. Right. And I don't want to set that example for them. Yeah. But I was struggling with it because the money would have been easy. Right. And fast. And it would have been the answer to my problems at the moment. Mm hmm But I couldn't do it. I could not do it, man. And uh, things started getting out of hand. I got back into drugs, but they were more as, uh, I would use them more as, because uh, I didn't like the pain pills they would give me. Yeah. And I would have migraines 24-7. Oh, man. Just crazy migraines. You what know? was the solution? Uh, I would use a, a stimulant, you know what I'm saying, put powder up my nose. Yeah. And it would take the pain away. Mm. I wouldn't get it high and abuse it like I used to. But I would still be able to function. Right. You know? I don't know how proud to say it, but that's, no. that's what I did. Yeah. Um, the other stuff they gave me was, uh, I had 13 prescription pills I was supposed to take. For the pain? For the pain, for memory loss, for anxiety. Yeah. I was like, I'm not taking all that shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, thank you. You know, I just, so I did, I did the drug instead. Um... And that was that, man. So, uh, <laughs> we're good still? Yeah, let's keep going. We're good. I ended up getting in a fight. Uh, the cops came and removed me from the house. Oh, uh, so you got in a fight with the girl. Well, not in a fist fight, but. Yeah. But that's what happened, man. So then a year later, almost a year later, I had my pistol on me. You know, she calls the cops on me. And then I get smacked with a felony. Because you got in a fight with the pistol on you? No, no, because uh, we were arguing. We were arguing. It was the last day of school. Things weren't right. We split up. I was trying to... Oh, that's where I messed up. Okay, so, so this isn't working out. I'm tired of my parents paying the fucking rent. You know, I can't work anymore. I'm thinking about going back to slanging, but I can't be with my family if I'm going to do that. I'm just all stressed out. And I know she's cheating on me. And she's in, she's in the same house? Yeah. Oh, so it's yeah. like, you know, and then I started cheating on her again. Yeah, that's no good. So it's like we were unhealthy relationship. Right. Unhealthy relationship. So I tell her, I was like, this isn't helping. This is not good. You know, we have we have to, we have Mm -hmm. I don't want to be with you no more. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming this conversation is yelling and screaming. No. Oh, no, this is this is like this. A conversation. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, you know, and this is before that. Okay. So then she tells me I don't want it to end like this. I'm like, what are you talking about? You don't want it to end like this. Yeah. This is unhealthy. You know what <laughs> I mean? I can't be with you. Right. You don't want to be with me, obviously. Yeah. I was like, I, and I put all my stuff on Craigslist like the week before. It's like, I just can't do this. Yeah. I recognize when something's unhealthy and I'm trying to get out of it, you yeah. know? And I asked her, I was like, something you want to tell me? You know what I'm saying? And I told her when I was cheating on her, you know what I'm saying? This is how bad it got, you know? Wow. And I was carrying my pistol around and stuff with an attitude and everything. Why were you carrying your pistol around? Just because, just because I felt like something more was going on that I didn't understand. And that's going to fix it? Well, I just wanted, okay. I just wanted it there because, you know, I just wanted it there to, to feel safe. Yeah, all right, cool. You know, I've always carried a gun since I was in Florida, and it's never been a problem. Yeah. You know, even though I shouldn't have had one, but right. that's another story. I don't carry one anymore. Right. Um, but uh, I, since the, since the day of my accident, I've been a different person. It changed me for the rest of my life. You know, um, I haven't seen my kids since that day. 
July. Since the accident. No, no, since July. Oh. Since, since June 18th. So June 18th, 2015. Last that's day six months. That's seven. No, it's, it's, like, it's like nine months after the accident. Yeah. That's yeah, so it took nine my, months. My to... newborn was five months old. He was born in January. So at that point, that's the end. That's the fight, or that's a felony. No, no, that. So I tried to get out of the situation, and then the last day of school, I got the felony. What was the felony? The felony was. Uh, she called the cops and said I threatened her. You Did know? you? Well, I told her I was like. I said. Uh, and this is where it gets a little deep, man, but I had told her something she didn't want to hear, you know, because I thought the car accident was her fault because our last kid was a mine. You know, there it is. I said it, and that's what I didn't want to get into, you know. But she, uh, I believe she tried to have me killed, man. Instead of, instead of, have, instead of saying, how come, you know, I cheated on you, this isn't, because he's not my kid. You really, really believe that. And I'm, or the I'm, father of I'm the an kid. outside person. No, I understand well, listen, that. Listen to the story. And I, I, this is the first I've heard of this. That is, that's a large claim. That's a heavy, heavy claim. You think that she, and by driving a 350 King Cat no, into the No, I don't the think she did it. You think, st- oh, so the guy did it. Yeah. So, do you know Somebody, who the guy I don't know who the father is. But I truly believe that. I truly believe that. I never signed a. I never signed a, the the birth certificate when he was born. So oh, and so is it? Is that proven? Is no, that, no. Is that is this facts? Like what? Did that I is never, that he's not yours. She won't do a DNA test. Does it look like you? No. Did you you named him though? Yeah. And it's not about man. It's not you loving I, him I, like I his, love him, man. Yeah, like yeah. a son, I'll take care of him like a son. But it's like now, now. She's used my my history against me with the law. Right. So on paper, I look like the bad dude, and she's never been in trouble before. Okay, so let me so, get back to my original question. So she called the cops on you because she said you got in an argument, and... Oh, I told her if she was a dude, that I'd beat her within an inch of her life, is what I told that's her. That's what you said to her. So yeah. that's, 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 but she laughed That's at a me. huge threat, though. Yeah, but it's like, she, she, she laughed at me. You know what she's like? She laughed at me, and she goes, what the fuck is your problem? And I was like, it's your fault. She's like, what's my fault? That that truck ran into me, and she got frantic after that. So that flipped her. That flipped her. That flipped her, and we were in separate. I stayed away from her, man, you know? And now we're getting into my case, but it's all it's, it's already done. So I stay in separate rooms from her because I'm like, I see her flip. She, she tells me, she's like, with what money? With what money? You know what I'm saying? I had the kids at home. I'm like, fuck, are you kidding me? Yeah, so I was like, you should have just fucking told me. We could have split. I told, still, told, told you what? They, that they, she had an affair, you know what I'm saying? That she was out there sucking dick and shit, man. So she, so you, so by her flipping out, you, you think that this is like an admission of guilt? Yeah. Well, I didn't realize it then. Okay. I'm, I'm so clouded through my, my accident and trying to get right and raise my family. Right. That the last thing that I would suspect. Yeah. Neither was that. This is a, this is a hard left for me in the storyline. Hey, that's what I'm saying. This is the last thing that I would suspect is that it's not my kid. Yeah. You know? Wow. Five months into it, he's still, yeah. you know. And I took care of him and, and stuff. You know, and, and I, you know, I never abused my children. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm a good daddy. They love me. Every time I come home, daddy, 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 hug me and stuff. Only time I wouldn't hug him was when I had my gun on me and I would I would go to the safe first, put it away, come back and then and then play with him. And uh so it's not like I was a bad dad. You yeah. Know? I I could have been a better one, but I wasn't shitty, wow. you know. So then so yeah, so that happens, she takes off, uh the cops come to my house like six hours later. I paid the last rent check. You know, both the police departments looking at me from a back window. There's like 10 of them. Blocks all uh, lit up. Lit, no, nah, shut down, man. There's, you don't hear no traffic, man. I got the Brills radio. I got the Brills turned up, you know, in the dubstep. I'm folding clothes because I feel bad about. Oh, so there's no lights? It's just. No, I'm in my quiet. house doing laundry, you know, 
yeah. with, with uh, my Jericho on my side. I didn't even open my beer. And uh, I look I look to the back, and there's Balto's finest, man, like this, with his gun. And, and then he sees me, and he, he puts it down. And he goes, are you, are you carrying? Do you have a weapon? And I said, yep. You know, he put his gun down, and then he told everybody else to put their guns down. So they handled it like gentlemen. That's Mind cool. you, I had a... Uh, but you I have had, a fire on you. I would... Yeah, they don't see it. I have it on me. Yeah, but wouldn't that be... I, and I don't know, cop yeah. protocol or police protocol, that would be like, pointing back at him because he has a firearm, no? What do you mean? If he, if I, This is just me talking. This is a sideline. It's not like I have it in my hand or nothing. You don't. I know. He's like, yeah. do you have a firearm on you, sir? Yes, I do. Yeah. Why would I keep my gun down now? Wouldn't I want to be well, like... At first, he was pointing it at me. Yeah. You know, and then I seen him to the corner of my eye. Oh. Because I, I, my backyard... The so you're technically not a threat, I guess. Yeah, I don't... Okay. You know, I yeah. would assume not. Because you, you didn't even know they were coming. No. No, I didn't. Anyway, okay. So, uh, my, my gate, they can get in on one side. So there's like six of them in the back, four of them come in through the front. But they don't just come in. They, it's like, hey. You know... Uh, to get my attention first, mm-hmm. I see him, and uh, and and throughout this whole time, I've had problems with not problems, but I was mad. With, I was mad with my car accident yeah. with this police department because the report was fucked up. Mm-hmm. Just a whole a whole mm-hmm. string of shit that I don't want to get into. So then he comes out. He's like, "What's up? You got a gun?" I said, "Yeah." He's like, "Well, I tell you what, man. If you don't show me yours, then I won't show you mine." I said, fair enough, fair enough, man. And then I just listened to what he said, put my hands up, opened the rear door. You know, I had one in the chamber with the safety on. I was ready to rock, man. Were you trying to go out with a blaze of glory? No, nah, man, I just, I just was tired of being fucked with, you know? Seriously. Was that, was that ever going through your mind? Like, yo, I'm just going to fire on these people, they'll fire on me and we'll be done with it? No, nah, I was never going to fire at the police. Never that. But I think uh, if I didn't get arrested, I probably would have killed that baby's daddy. How do you know, but you don't have any facts to go on? I know, but this is where I'm going, man. This is where my head is. This is where I, this is, this is the state of mind that I was in. Okay. You know, so I consider it a blessing that I got arrested because I'm not in there for murder. So what did you get arrested for? Just for threatening? For a DV, uh, felony firearm, um, and, uh, and a Vasca. The what? The Vasca. So I told you that I would use drugs. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the snort. So having it on you. So I had it on Possession. me. Yeah, I just had it on me. It was still, you know, I get like a 20 second week. Or so whatever. how long did you uh, do time for? So then I, so, the, so I was in there for about two, no, a month before I got out. Okay. Yeah. So I got bailed out. Um, I got bailed out and... and to the street. Yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't want nothing to do with, well, check this out. Before I get bailed out, my attorney comes in with her attorney because I have to let him know when I leave, right? And the only thing she wanted me to do was sign the paternity paper. Did you do it? Fuck no. What? No. I didn't why like, didn't she want, why did, why? Exactly. Why is that what you're the concerned about? The one thing about? you want? You know, why are you concerned with signing the paternity paper? And then she still, to this day, hasn't gotten a paternity test. Does it sound like I have reason or not, man? I mean, well, I don't want to she really crazy. wanted you just get the test. She, if, if that was the case, right? She really wanted it. Why don't you just get the test, paternity test, and be like, "Yo, it's your dad. It's your son. Now sign. Pay it. Shut up. Yeah, you know, you're fucking crazy, right? That's done. Yeah, shut you up. Like, yeah. You know, what do you think I'm doing here? Like, yeah. that's wild, yo. You know? Yeah. So I see how your head could be. That's this is. And crazy. and it takes time because when I was in there, I had enough enough time to think, and then and then. It's like one of those aha moments when uh, I'm getting ready to be released. They hit me with this paternity thing, and that's when it hit me. I was oh, like, oh. That's when... I was like, are you kidding me? Mm. I was like, that's the reason. Wow. So now, okay, after you uh, out of jail, you have to be separated, I assume? You, have to, you can't be around her? Or what's, what's, the, what's the Yeah, thing? yeah, we have no contact orders. Ever. Um, it was for like five years with her, two years with the kids. So what, what happened? So that's not up yet, I assume. Um, it, it's. I love my kids so much, and and when I wasn't there for them, 
when I was removed from their life, like I say, uh, it was a big hole in my heart. Mm -hmm. And uh, living on the street, and nobody wanted to help me, my parents, my friends. So you have no clue what she even told the kids? No. And why you're gone? Well, I saw my son. Which one? Uh, my oldest son. My Neo? mom and dad would used to bring him once in a Neo? while. Yeah, Neil. And he told me one time, he was like, you left us. And I was like, that's not what happened, son. Yeah. And then I told him, you know, the G-rated version, I said, your, I scared your mom. She called the cops, and they took me to jail. Yeah. You know? So I was like, you just be a good brother. Be a good son. You know, help your mom out. Yeah. Listen to her. You know, she's a good mom. She took care of the kids. Yeah. You know, I got to give her that. The beef that we had, we had. You know, like, I, I can't, I can't, I can't deny her that she was a good mother. Yeah. You know, regardless our our relationship. I just wish that we were more honest with each other. Right. You know, so now here we are twenty seventeen and uh it's been the roughest part of my life, man. And how many years is that since since you like how many more years do you, to you can contact your kids? Um I'm not sure are you well? Really, the question is: Are you? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go tomorrow to dads. I actually have an appointment to what's see dads tomorrow. What's that? I don't know. What um, that is. They they help uh, young men, or they help men that have been in the system to show them how to navigate the paperwork and get back in touch with their families. And um, I, I I forgot what it stands for. Yeah. Okay. But it's a very good program. That's cool. And. I'm going to have a conversation with them tomorrow for the first time because I finally feel that I'm ready to address the situation because I wasn't yeah. until now. Wow. Cool, man. Yeah. And wow. That's great. I'm, I'm, I'm happy we sat down. I uh, really am. We've uh, been going for like an hour, so I'm going I'm to yeah, wrap yeah. it up. But like, that's cool. So when I, when I put this out there, do you want me to put your full name? Or do you like... Because... At some point, these kids are going to come, or you, they're going to want to find it, or you're going to want to send it to them, or whatever, yeah. or you, what, what do you want me to put, I'm, 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 your permission, what do you want me to put yeah, out there? It, it, that's the story. That's the story. That's the story, man. It's not like I didn't, I didn't make none of it up. That's okay. what happened. That's how I see it through my eyes. All right. And uh, I just want my kids to know if they do ever see this, that I did not leave you. I love you. I think about you every day. And, and it doesn't matter what happened, CJ. It doesn't matter if you're my kid. It don't matter if any of you are my biological kids. I love you guys to death. Right. Please believe that. All right. All right, Jose. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, man? That was tight. Yeah, thank that you. Was, that was really, really strong. That. It feels good to talk about it now, man. Yeah, I feel like you got something off your chest. Yeah. Yeah. You know, as, it's been a long time, man. I've been through therapy and stuff, and and thank you for giving me the time. Yeah, you're welcome, man. You know, to get that off. All right. Thank you for listening. Yeah.